Hi Pisces, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, Pisces, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you've got the death card, right? Endings, completions and culminations. And actually this is a good thing because we're a week out from the eclipse as we get to the end of this week. This is going to be our first eclipse season of this year. We'll be kicking off on the 30th of April. So this is a big deal. And the fact that you've got the death card this week, it means that you are in that space of releasing. This is you letting go of, cutting away, releasing, removing, uh, you know, throwing away, getting rid of, emptying out the closet, whatever you want to call it. But in some way, shape or form, all of these areas of your life is going to 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 uh, to witness or in ex or experience a loss or an ending in some way, shape, or form, and this isn't actually a bad thing. I actually feel like this week the Death card is reminding you that life is cyclic, and in order for new things to grow, something is going to have to come to an end or go through its natural process of death. So you know, don't be afraid of this and don't be frightened by it. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit the subscribe button for your actions and options this week. You have the five of swords. So this is literally the end of conflict. This is you letting go of a challenge or an issue that you've had previously. In a lot of ways, I kind of feel like this is a moment where you're looking at something and saying, do you know what? This argument, this problem, this issue, this petty sort of dispute or squabble or whatever it is that I've had, it's just not that important. This, like, for me, it feels like this is a week where you're letting something go. It's not about turning the other cheek. It's not about letting it slide. It's about sort of really your own mental and emotional peace. And so this week, I kind of feel like you're looking at some person, situation, or thing in your life and saying, yeah, you know what? I could go toe to toe with you. I could argue with you. I could, you know, do all of it and get into it with you. But actually, I'm really not interested in that. And it's not because I've forgiven you. It's not because I'm accepting what you did. It's just a case of I'm really not that interested. I'm going to take all of that energy that I could be spending on you and I'm going to focus it on me. Love, love, love. When it comes to your communications and conversations, you've got the nine of wands. Don't fret, I know you're looking at this thinking, these are all bad cards, but these are all bad cards under the auspices of the death card, which means these are all things that you're releasing this week, which is great. All right, for your communications and conversations, you've got the nine of wands. This would be a great week for you to think about releasing wounds, right? Especially where you know you can talk it out. If there's something or someone that has hurt you, now, I know you're probably thinking, hang on a sec, what I'm talking about here is a dispute. This is about you letting an argument or a challenge go. Talking something out that you know is gonna provide or offer you healing is a very different thing. You've got this with the Nine of Wands. Now, the challenging news here, I do have to talk about it because it is here. The challenging news here is that you could hear of somebody that uh, maybe dies by or through an injury. Um, so this could be, you know, maybe they had an injury and, you know, they were working through it and it wasn't, a, you know, maybe it got better and then it got worse and da, 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 da. Like that's the worst case scenario. Now, because this is in the communications and conversations, it will be news that you hear rather than it actually happens to you or a family member. It doesn't make it any better. It just means that it's not as close. That's the heavier part of it. On the other side, this could literally be a week where you are talking through or over your wounds in some way, shape or form that allows you to release them. For those of you that are studying, this could be a time where maybe you go and ask for an extension on a deadline. This could be a moment, actually, if and if you go down that route, uh, you know, especially if you feel like the workload you've been given is unfair. Maybe if you feel like you've not been as supported in your, your stu studious journey, um, this suggests that if you talk 
walk it out, you will get, you know, you'll get some sort of um, support from it. For those of you that are uh, work for somebody else as an employee, I actually think this is a time where if you felt like you've been on the outskirts or the outside of the organization or the team or whatever, like if you felt sort of like really separate, like you haven't been given as much time of day or all the rest of that stuff, this is you really kind of speaking up and having that moment. And it's like, I'm not having this experience anymore. So I'm gonna verbalize it, I'm gonna talk about it for, um, and you know, fair play to you. Um, you know, that would be a good way to use the five of swords, you know, if that if that's something that you need to, to, to verbalize, because it's not an easy conversation to have, especially if you're going to your boss and saying, look, I don't feel like you treat me right. I don't feel like I'm being used properly, at the, you know, in the job or whatever. Da, 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 da. Um, when it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves. This week, when it comes to your business and or your brand, if you have had any challenges or issues with the way that you're seen or with the way that somebody has tried to present you, your work and or your business, this week you have a potential to lay that to rest. So this might come up, maybe you're having to have a tough conversation or to lay a boundary of some sort, but this is where you get to kind of cut it and nip it in the bud and say, listen, you don't get to present me or my work or my business that way. For those of you that are, um, oh come on brain, uh, retired and or no longer working for any reason, this nine of wands, I think this is you really taking time to focus on yourself, on where it is maybe that you feel like life is lacking in some regard. Um, with that nine of wands as well, this could be where you, you feel willing to fight for something, but maybe you're not necessarily sure how to go about it or whether it's even, you know, rele uh, 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 worth it. For your love and relations, you've got the Page of Swords. So for those of you that are single, this is, I mean, it is a week. New love is definitely possible with this or meeting someone is definitely possible with this. The challenge that you're gonna have here though, um, because it's underneath the death card, right? It's or it's under the auspices of this. Um, this may be it may be somebody that's trying to connect with you that you feel like you've already dated. Um, I remember when I was a teenager, uh, show my age now, um, I bought the Buffy the Vampire Slayer soundtrack. Yes, I did because it was fucking awesome. So screw you. Um, <laughs> right? I, and I loved it. And there's a song on there called um, I Already Met You. And it's basically about this guy and he's talking about it and he's like, you're like in one of the lines he says, yeah, there's something familiar about every word that you say. Um, it's hard to believe that this happened again. Uh, I already met you. And that's, so it's basically like, you, you know, you meet someone and you think, you seem really familiar. And it's like, yeah, I dated someone that was just like you. And it's like this time, you don't have to go through the dating and the really awkward breakup and all the rest of it. It's like you see this person and you think, no, there's too much about you that reminds me of somebody else. And while I'm sure you're lovely and you have all your own lessons to teach me, I'm gonna bypass that right now because I know that's not what I need. I'll go, I'll wait for, for whatever it is that I do need and when that comes in. It's kind of like you're getting to fast track something by ignoring the option that's in front of you now. For those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments, this is a week where you and a partner may clash, but then for, you know, for a moment, you might look at it and say, you know what, what are we doing? This is just not worth it, all right? Let's 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 scrap this, <laughs> you know, let's, let's not do any of this. So again, you are in charge here, Pisces. For your money and materials, you have the three of pentacles. All right, so your money looks good. Um, and for those of you that are thinking about taking on new methodologies, for those of you that are seeking financial advice in any way, um, I kind of feel, especially if you're gonna pay, like I'm not a financial advisor, I can't give you that kind of advice. What I can tell you is, I would do your research before you hire someone to do for you what you may actually be able to do for yourself. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, you should suddenly do your own tax return or, or um, you know, create or write a business plan or whatever. You've got to be sensible, right? Keep your feet on the ground. Look at me, I'm a tarot reader, right? I, an astrologer. I love the woo-woo, but we keep our feet on the ground. Very, very important, okay? Um, 
but yeah, I kind of feel like you may be able to do, and you might end up resenting actually someone that you pay for, because it's like, okay, well, you did your job, but you haven't told me anything that I don't already know. So before you outsource something this week that you're gonna pay for, just consider whether this is something that you can, do you know what I mean? Like whether you can do this yourself. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, watch out for your knees this week. Like please, 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 your knees, your bones in general, absolutely. And then when it comes to the home and environment, the three of pentacles, I think this is about you creating a space that is more conducive to the life that you truly want. Whether this is through something like feng shui, whether it is just you optimizing your space, maybe putting some quotes on the wall or getting a better desk chair or whatever. There's something here that you're doing because it's like, I want to make the space work for me so that I can put the best into my work, whatever that might be. When it comes, uh, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.